My baby capybaras are six days old. You guys are probably wondering where my baby capybaras are at. Well, let me go show you guys. And they have been doing absolutely amazing on the bottle of milk. So we're gonna go show you guys these babies and show you how awesome they are. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a beautiful day here in South Florida. The winter is gone for us, our three-day cold front. And now we're gonna go show you guys where we had to put our baby capybaras when it was cold. But before we get started with that, we're gonna go inside the house and go set up a bottle because that means these guys are not with the parents anymore and they're getting bottle raised. So we're inside of the house and we have to prep our bottles. We have a little goat nipple right here and they've been eating off of this thing. We have a little Sprite bottle and this clamps on perfectly with that. So what we're gonna do, it's going to be one part for every two parts of water of warm water. So we grab ourselves a little bit of this KMSR. It's a cap formula. So we're gonna do three scoops. Three scoops. A little teeny bit more. Cause these guys are really eating. They've been inside of the house now because they for what, three days? Um, we pulled them at three, three days, days old. Yeah, they, they've been there for three days. Three days now. My sister has been helping tremendously because at night I'm at Kenya's house with the baby. So yeah, so that's two right there, water. Three, four, five, and six. So three for six. So that's right there. They've been eating a lot. Since we've already pulled them, they've already eaten this whole entire thing. They have been really, really, really chugging. So people are probably asking, why did you pull the babies from the mother? Well, unfortunately, as you guys know, whole United States had a winter blast and Florida actually got very cold as well. And for South Florida, it was pretty freaking cold, especially on Christmas day. And capybaras are from Colombia, South America, Brazil, all those places. It doesn't get cold like that. And these guys are definitely not used to it. And for the babies, for being only three days old, I didn't feel comfortable. And um, the babies were actually, oh, 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 I might need a funnel. We did okay, we did okay. All those little pieces that are hard right there, that's okay, you know why? Because while we're walking towards the back of the building, we'll shake it all up with a bottle and then we're good. So the reason why we decided was for the safety of the baby capybaras because the mom is going to protect herself the most and she couldn't really stay warm at all so we had to give her heat lamps over here and we were nervous if we put heat lamps over here with the babies the babies would have been able to have the opportunity to get through the gate right here and then that wouldn't be good because they would get lost from the mom so we decided to pull the babies and put them inside the building we were going to do that when they're about a week old but we decided to pull them at three days old and they have been doing absolutely amazing on the bottle of milk. We're gonna go show you guys these babies and show you how awesome they are. So we are here where our little pin is at with our baby capybaras. And I know you guys are probably seeing all of the stuff back here, but this is a working farm. A working farm has a bunch of stuff that's all around the ranch because you need different things when you're working on your farm. Anyways, so baby capybaras are right here. We have one, two, and three. They're doing absolutely amazing. We still don't know the sexes right now, but we're gonna do that for you guys on the video. Capybaras have to use the bathroom in the water so they poop and pee in the water, as you guys can see. We change this out twice a day so that these guys are able to have fresh clean water if they would like to drink it and oh they're able to poop in there as well and the crazy thing about it is they have to eat their poop too we have a light there for nighttime because it was getting cold and inside the building still gets a tad cold but this was a hundred percent warmer inside of here than being outside away from the wind so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our baby capybaras so cassandra the blue one we don't know the males females anything yet right now but the blue collar was eating the best. And then we have a pink collar and then we have a no collar. The reason why we did the colorations and all that stuff is so we know the difference of each and one of them because they all look the same. But right now we're gonna grab the blue collar and show you guys how to eat. Crazy thing is these guys are born with their teeth already. So check this out. This nipple you guys has holes in it already, but it still works great and we're still gonna use it because they have teeth, they nibble and grab this thing very, very hard. So Cassandra found a better technique than what I was doing. So teamwork makes dream work over here, especially taking care of uh, little exotic animals like this. And we're gonna show you how Cassandra figured this out and I'm gonna feed him because Cassandra's behind the camera filming me right now. So we got a little towel right there and we're gonna show you how this works because we were holding them on us. They kept on peeing all over us and our clothes are just, we're going through clothes too fast. We're feeding them four times a day, every couple hours, breaking it up and they're doing absolutely amazing. Look how adorable they are, you guys. Give this video a thumbs up because they are absolutely so cute. So we're gonna grab the blue collar one right now. Here we go, in the water. And we're gonna feed this little guy right quick. Here we go. Show him the nipple. And they get right on it, you guys. They are doing absolutely amazing. We let, he said, hey, you guys got too close. So we put them right there and they drink up. Look at that. Hey, come here. Don't be scared of the camera. Don't be scared of the camera. Look how cute these guys are. We never actually filmed them before, so that's why they're like, what is that thing looking at me? 
in front of me right now, but they'll definitely get a lot more use to that. And I know a lot of people before were saying they wanted my capybaras to be tame. Well, this is our time here right now. So we are probably going to be keeping at least two of them if there's two that are girls. I'm not 100% sure what they are yet, but once my mom gets over here and my mom is able to film for us, Cassandra and I are going to try to sex them and see if we're able to find out what the genders are. Unfortunately, it is very, very hard to tell from males and females until they get into like adult size. But what you can do is you can kind of like, like reptiles, you can pop it out. And if a little thingy comes out, it's a boy. And if nothing pops out, it's a girl. So we're going to do our best to sex them. And then hopefully we have two girls here on the ranch for us to keep. Look at that. So awesome. So I talked to my buddy that actually produces them as well and a couple other people. And they were like, how's it going? Blah, blah, this and that. And I'm like, this is one of the best animals I've ever bottle fed before. And they're like, for real? And I'm like, yeah. They're like, well, you got really lucky because supposedly um, they are very, very hard to bottle raise. But I think the advantage that I had was the day that I pulled them was actually a really cold day and they didn't drink that day that much at all. And I was getting too worried. So that's the reason why I pulled them. But I think they were really, really hungry and kind of like in shock from the cold. So that was our advantage right there. And they became like, oh, you're warm, you're food, let me help. I think if we would have pulled them at that week old like I was hoping to do, they would have been a little too timid and wild already and would have took a lot more work for us to actually get them to be calm and uh, getting on the bottle a lot faster. So the three day mark for us is definitely gonna be our new thing for the future if we have any other baby capybaras, which I do hope we do. Aren't these guys adorable? So it's definitely a lots of time here on the ranch because now we have babies once more. When you have babies on the ranch, you have to make sure you're always feeding them every couple of hours, like we mentioned. We're feeding them four times a day, which isn't too bad like when we had our baby Otter. We had to do it every two hours around the clock for three months straight. That was a lot of work. But these guys aren't too, too, too bad because they're able to start eating food already, which is an absolutely awesome thing. The day that they're born, they have teeth and it gives them that advantage so that they're able to eat a lot quicker. All right, how's that right there? All right, so my mom just brought us some new collars that we bought at the store today so that we're able to put better collars on them and they look a lot better. All right, so we're gonna check them out and see if they're males or females. So, stand them up a little bit, there you go. All right, so we, when you do it like that, it looks like that right there. It would, something would have popped out last time, something popped out, so that right there, I would 100% say is a girl. So the blue is a girl. So that's okay. You wanna just keep a pink one on him now? No, I like blue and I'm a girl. All right, no, two. because what about if we get a boy? We need a blue for boy. Let's not confuse him. <laughs> All right, Come on. sounds good, sounds good. Not confuse us. Confuse, confuse other people. All right, we got the collar on and uh, I guess this is thing three. Let's put her down and let's grab another one. All right, let's sex it real quick and then uh, we'll feed him. So this is the one with no collar. So we don't know what this one is. This one likes to pee on you. No, oh, perfect. Mm, awesome. So it's probably a boy then. No, I think it's a girl too. All right, nothing came out. Remember that one time we did it? That last one, the first one that we sold, a wiener came out. So I would say this is a girl as well. We'll check them again in the future just in case. But for right now, you guys, I'm really thinking they are girls. You want to feed them real quick? Show them how you feed them. This one's good. This one's good. As long as it doesn't pee. Oh yeah. So that's how Cassandra has been well, feeding it. The reason it's leaking out is because they bit a hole into it. So we're gonna have to get another nipple soon. Cause we don't want to be wasting too much milk. But they are eating very, very well, and that's amazing. What you think? Cute. Definitely Cute. cuter when they're younger. You don't like them when they're big? Yeah, it's yeah, interesting. Something. What? It's a rodent. Now. Yeah, these are the so cute. these are the world's largest rodents, and the cool thing about them is that you guys can actually potty train them. And I'm gonna get them to sit like a dog. You can. You can get them to roll over. I had a friend that had one in a show, and it was an amazing animal, great abasser animal. So it's gonna be really cool to have these guys now be able to hold them, walking around on leashes, and so much better than our parent race pair that we had, and they were a little bit more uh, skittish. The female eats from our hand, but the boy unfortunately does not. You guys wanted to know. Wait, let's hear I it. listen to music as I feed them. Oh, cool. They like the country music. 
They like country music. Yeah. So are you gonna burp them like a baby? You have to burp them? No, you don't have to burp them. You have to burp them like cash? No. No, no burping. They're good. Yeah, we're gonna have to get another. We're gonna have to go buy more nipples because we are wasting a good amount of milk. They're eating a lot, but they're wasting a lot too. So that's not good. Because then we're not getting that right amount. Going in there. And you look at the other two right here. So the last one we have to feed is the pink collar. Not that pink collar, the other pink collar. And you can see it's wrapped around his chest a little bit. So we don't want that. But um, we have... They're looking for food. Yeah. Um, okay. You want to go get a bowl of food? Okay, well, I want to see the last, uh, what it is. Okay. All right, so this is the last one. So we're going to see what this one is. It's okay. No, this one likes to, likes to nibble. <laughs> so maybe that's the one we, we get rid of? <laughs> yeah. This one likes to nibble me. All right, so something did pop a little bit more here. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that, maybe, maybe it is a girl. I don't know. So that one might be iffy. So we'll keep this as a blue and we'll check it out. Something, something-ish kind of popped a little bit more. I'm not 100% sure, but... Um, you just have to keep an eye on it. We'll keep this one as an unsexed right now. But I definitely think that those two are 100% girls because I didn't see that happen. But I'll check them again in another video coming up for you guys. And to send them to someone else to see. Yes, so we, that's why the reason why we're filming it as well. We'll send it to a couple friends that breed these guys as well and get their opinion on it as well. Because again, this is our second time having babies and I'm not 100% sure what they really, really are. But those two do look different than the one, the first one we had. All right, so my mom just brought us a little bit of greens and guinea pig diet. These guys are eating already, so that's a good thing as well. So if they weren't getting enough nutrients from the milk, they are getting it from all this right here. So there we are right there. It is evening here on the ranch now, so they do like to eat more in the evening. They are more nocturnal and they're big grazers. But what we're gonna have to do too is start pulling the hay and giving them fresh hay too, so they have a lot of hay. I feel very confident for them right now. And we may have one of them available. So yeah, let me know. Other than that, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. All three baby capybaras are doing absolutely amazing. I can't be any more happier than these guys. Um, I'm happy that, was able, that they were able to produce and have a healthy litter. Finally, uh, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, put your post notifications on, and stay tuned for the upcoming video on what we decide to do with the extra one and if it's a male or female or not. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everyone.